a couple of weeks ago, this this uh, this uh, Arab, um, I don't know if he was from Egypt, he was a journalist, and he took his shoes off and threw it at Bush. See, that would never happen in America because there's nothing free about America, man. You you don't have no, you know, all the damn wickedness that Bush did, man, all, all the people... People that he was responsible for for killing, the war that he started, the shit that he started. Go ahead. Revelation seventeen and six. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Yahweh Shai. And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. Right. That's talking about America. How America took down uh, uh, the Israelites. How they took down Gad, how they brought uh, Judah, really Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, how they went down into South America, how they controlled South America, all right? But now, going to what you see on the screen there, this is the uh, seal and or flag of uh, New the state, uh, the state of New York. If you notice, there's an eagle perched up on top of the planet Earth, and you see a woman on either side. The woman that I want to focus on is, uh, which is, bit, is the same woman, all right, which goes back to the queen of heaven. <coughs> the one I want to focus on is the one on the right of your screen. Uh, she has a staff in her hand, and on, on the top of that staff is the Fijian um, cap of Freemasonry, all right? Now, if you look at the coat of arms, you see a mountain. Really, that's a really that's a pyramid. All right. That mountain is shaped as a pyramid. You see the rising sun, which is also a, a Illuminati symbol. Then you see the uh, motto of the flag or the seal, which is Excelsior. Now the word Excelsior means lordly, or uh, to excel, to be on top. So, so that's what it, that's what New York is all about. That's why the UN is in New York. That's why the World Trade, the used to be World Trade Center, is in New York. Empire State Building, because this is an empire. Like I said, this is Rome all over again. Go ahead, uh, Isaiah fourteen and ten. All they shall speak and say unto thee, Art thou also become weak as we? Art thou become like unto us? Thy pomp is brought down to the grave, and the noise of thy vials, the worm is spread under thee, and the worms cover thee. Right, the worms represent corrosion. That's why your bridges are falling down. That's why uh, you got potholes all over the place. That's why you, you have water main breaks all over the place. That's why your trains are breaking down. That's why, that's why nobody want to buy your cheap-ass cars anymore. Your society is going down. Go ahead. Isaiah 2 and 10. Enter into the rock and hide thee in the dust. For fear of the Lord and for the glory of his majesty. Thy lofty looks, I'm sorry, the lofty looks of man shall be humbled. And the haughtiness of men shall be bowed down. And the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. For the day of the Lord of hosts shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty. And upon everyone that is lifted up. And he shall be brought low. Yeah, so America's going to be brought low. You got something, brother? Okay, bring it on out. Now, you mentioned uh, the repair of the roads, right? Now, this is from the book Imperial Rome again. It says, The Emperor Caesar Vespasian Augustus Pontifex Maximus holding the tribunician uh, tribu power for the sixth year Acclaimed imper imperator 13 times, father of his country. <laughs> wow, what a title, right? Consul six times, designated consul for a seventh time, censor saw to the repair of the roads. So that was a, 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 a pretty high uh, bus uh, order of business in the Roman Empire, repairing of the roads. Right, they have a saying, all roads lead to Rome, right? Now, in D.C., um, you were telling me about that uh, earlier, that there's roads, and he has it in the document, 
um, about these roads, all these different roads that lead into D.C., which is part of the, I would say, the capital of Rome, because like I said, America is a modern-day Rome. All right, go ahead, read that. Um, this is back to that article um, the, in the Toronto Star. It says, circling around Washington is a broad swath of highways known as the Beltway. Two Americas exist today. One inside the Beltway is composed of all the people who run the country. The other outside it, outside it is made up of all the rest of the United States. Ancient Rome was the same. It too was surrounded by a sacred boundary known as the Pomerium, which the Pomerium is after the wall. You know how you have the uh, the uh, um, Washington D.C., which is which is what supposed to um, gov the government supposed to rule over, and then you have outside of that, which is the rest of the population. That's the same with Rome. Right, right. And then and back in Rome, you had uh, ancient Rome. You had uh, uh, two classes of uh, uh, people. You had the um, the uh, the plebeians, and you had the uh, patricians. All right. Now, when you break these word, words down, the uh, patricians. That's where you get the word patriots from. All right. That's why you know if you, if you're not doing what Americans are supposed to do, if you don't fight the war, they call they call you what? They say that you're not you're 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 not patriotic. You got to be a patriotic American. And the same thing applied back in ancient Rome. You had to believe in the, in the, uh, the, the patri uh, patricians, all right? The patricians, all right? And that's where you get fathers or the, or the founding fathers. Just like you had George Washington and you had the, the early pioneers of this country. They call them what? The founding forefathers or the patriots. And then you had the plebeians, which were the rest of the people in America, which are basically the public. That's where you get the word uh, people from, all right? And um, the average person never really um, got high up in office. There was always guys that were set up. But now in America, what they do, they'll take so-called average people, but they'll, they'll groom him for office, just like they groomed... Um, this dude, uh, Barack Hussein Obama, Hamite, all right? Now, what you're looking at on the screen there is an obelisk, which you know it as the uh, Washington Monument. So, so the word monument means to remember. So what are you supposed to remember? You're supposed to remember ancient Egypt, because that's where you got your power from. The ancient, the Greeks, the Romans, and the Egyptians, and the Babylonians. That's why you have what's called a Christmas tree today. All right, you got something, brother? Um, this is um, back in Revelation. Revelation 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Right, right. And then, and then um, the, 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 river, the river there was supposed to be the river Styx, which is an ancient Greek uh, uh, and, Greek, and Greek mythology. The river Styx was supposed to be the the river that connected the 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 uh, the, um, the world of the dead and the world of the living. It was supposed to be a transition between the two. And that that was pretty much it. Right now, give me uh, number twenty nine. Now you just saw on the screen um, the Washington Monument, which, if you understand what that symbol really is. The insiders know what it means, or the uh, elite know what it means, that, that Washington Monument. That people go down and say, oh, that's the famous Washington Monument, not realizing that it's an Egyptian obelisk. Uh, right, right. Now, right here, this, this right here is uh, a Vatican City. Now, if you look right in the middle... That's uh, an obelisk. Okay. Now that street that you see, that's supposed to uh, resemble the river Styx uh, that, that goes back to ancient Egypt. Because they have the same thing back there in Washington, D.C. That river. And we actually been down there to D.C. And we spoke in front of the uh, obelisk.
And we were trying to break it down to people, all right? And then, they, and then uh, right outside in, in the Vatican.